Hello, my name is Luke Kidger. I'm a digital education developer at the University of Lincoln. And in this video poster, I'm going to outline our experience of running the Microsoft Office Specialist program, reflecting on how this changed in the pandemic and what we learned, which we hope can be applied to other certification programs. Prior to the pandemic, the MOS scheme for 1920 was held on campus. This allowed students to attend an in-person orientation session before then completing their exam in a proctored computer lab on average once per month. By comparison this year, students were given four opportunities every fortnight in which they could book onto an online exam taken through a proctored virtual machine. On-campus exams were successful, though we observed some limitations, principally no flexibility and therefore exclusion of students who were not able to travel to campus on the specified date and time for a variety of reasons. However, this approach afforded easier troubleshooting of technical issues and student queries, something which proved difficult during online exams from home. Additionally, standardised equipment availability meant that each student was not, potentially, at risk of being disadvantaged by their device hardware or internet connection. Following a purchase through the online store, candidates were provided with information about the exam process required accounts, as well as access to both LinkedIn learning and exam simulations. Across both years, a strong relationship with the Lincoln Award has been a staple of our communication strategy. This allowed us to assert the relevance of these certifications amongst the student population, but also access an existing and extensive network of engaged and motivated individuals who want to build their skills portfolio. As our provision progressed, and reflecting on the success last year, we continue to build and foster a community through a Blackboard community site based on the recommendation that students wanted more regular updates regarding the LinkedIn learning courses and exam information. As part of the discussion element, we acknowledge that recruitment is one of the largest challenges with this kind of project. And whilst this program is well embedded, there will be some level of saturation and therefore new approaches may be needed. We saw a 29% increase in the total number of examinations taken in comparison to last year, which we attribute to the more democratic access route for students but also the higher quantity of sessions available. Whilst total examinations increased largely, we did only see a small gain in the number of successful students, rising by about 4% to 151 this year. In terms of the skills students want to build, Excel last year represented 61.9% of exams taken. This year, 51.1% a small decline, whereas Word last year represented 18.7% of exams, and this year 34.3, almost double. It is possible that providing more frequent opportunities for students to certify has led to a large increase in multiple examination passes. This year, for the first time, five students passed five examinations, and one student proceeded to pass six. In addition to this success, the number of expert exams taken by students increased three times over. Student feedback showed a conscience of the need to have strong general digital skills and that digital badges and certifications were a key way of standing out in a highly competitive market. Students noted that being a more advanced and proficient user aided them in professional settings but also in their studies and more personally. The ability to accumulate exams to gain additional titles was a key motivating factor for students, with the chance to gain expert titles in individual programmes or the suite as a whole. All students who were surveyed stated that they shared their success on their LinkedIn profiles, noting that this will help to draw attention directly to their achievement. Changes made during the pandemic have allowed us to offer a more inclusive programme to our students and to target a growing audience beyond our traditional on-campus learners particularly international students and those taking online programmes. We know from discussions with students that they found exams from home easier to engage with due to better balance around professional employment and their studies. Not needing to travel between campus meant exams could be completed before starting a shift, for example, without provoking unnecessary time pressure. Within the discussion tab for this poster, we would like to further share a more detailed insight into our experience and, of course, hear your thoughts and views on a range of related subjects. We hope that our experiences, opinions and data can help to inform the planning and operation of your own online extracurricular and digital skills certification programmes. We hope to see you in the discussion, but for now, many thanks and take care.